Hi everyone, welcome back to TJE Economics, where today we're going to be looking at chains of reasoning, which are a really important piece of exam technique that you need in A-level, IB, GCSE Economics, and it is the way that we demonstrate our analysis skills in economics. So what is a chain of reasoning? Then? A chain of reasoning is a clear, logical string of analysis that combines multiple points along with your knowledge using connectives in order to comprehensively answer a question. So we're going to be combining our analysis, our application and our knowledge in order to answer a question. So one of the things that I think students often get confused about is that chains of reasoning aren't necessarily just an economic skill. You can use chains of reasoning in any essay writing subject. So in history you can use them, in English you can use them, in business you can use them. It's not just an economic skill. And so to prove that, I'm going to do a chain of reasoning now telling you why Liverpool will not win the Champions League this season. So, for example, let's go then. In the summer of 2022, Liverpool lost a key player in Sadio Mane, as well as reliable backup players such as Divock Origi, Takumi Minamino and Neko Williams. Then, they failed to adequately replace these players. As a result, Liverpool do not have the strength and depth that they had last season required to challenge for major competitions. This means that there will be added pressure on the remaining squad, which means that they will be more tired and more susceptible to injury. Consequently, Liverpool's squad will be weaker towards the end of the season and will be unable to challenge for the Champions League. So you can see there, it's a chain of reasoning. When we talk about a chain of reasoning, we mean it's one point followed by another, followed by another, and so on and so on. The really important bits there, though, that I've got in bold, italics, underlined, and in red, are my connectives, then, as a result, this means that, which means that, consequently, that is me signalling to the examiner, here is my chain, here is my point, here's what it leads to, here's the result. I'm signalling to the examiner that I'm doing a chain of reasoning. It's really important that we have those connectives, that we keep our chains of reasoning simple, and that we move from one point logically to the next. So that's a chain of reasoning about football, but I could easily give you a chain of reasoning about externalities as well. For example, an external cost is a negative spillover effect to a third party that the price mechanism doesn't account for. Likewise, an external benefit is a positive spillover effect to a third party that the price mechanism doesn't account for. We assume in economics that agents are rational and act in their own self-interest. Therefore, we can assume that agents will not care about any external costs or benefits that they cause. For example, a firm that pollutes the environment will not care about the damage they do, as it's an external cost. Because of this, they only care about the private costs themselves, and will overproduce their good or service. As a result of this overproduction, it means that the firm, and therefore society, is allocating too many resources to the production of that good or service. Consequently, welfare is loss, and this leads to market failure. And we can even include a diagram. And so you can see again, this is an economics example, but I'm still using the same structure. I'm still using similar connectives. And I throw in a diagram, which is always good in our analysis. I can give you another example. Here is an example of a chain of reasoning in a more paragraph form. So why does unemployment rise in a recession? In a recession, incomes will fall in the economy, meaning that consumers have less disposable income to spend on goods and services. This causes aggregate demand in the economy to fall. Notice what I've done here, though. I've referred to specific points on a diagram. That's super important in your essays. You've got to be referring to points on a diagram. But anyway, this causes aggregate demand in the economy to fall, AD1 to AD2. And consequently, this causes total real GDP to fall, Y1 to Y2. This fall of output from Y1 to Y2 means that firms now require less labour. And due to this, the derived demand for labour falls causing unemployment to rise. You can see there, I've used, what, six connectives in a fairly short paragraph and a diagram to form a chain of reasoning explaining why unemployment rises in a recession. So chains of reasoning aren't hard. It's just simple. Try and keep it simple. Try and keep it logical and signal to the examiner as much as possible. You might see it called signposting as well. Signpost to the examiner that you are forming chains of reasoning with those connectives. And if you do want to practice making chains of reasoning in your own time, you can screenshot this slide. I'll also put it out on my Twitter as well. And you can practice doing chains of reasoning. In the top right, you've got that blank white box in there. You could put your essay title. 
you could put in the topic you're going to talk about, and you've got those boxes in which you could write your chains of reasoning. And in the bottom left, you've got a diagram, or really an empty diagram, on which you can draw a relevant diagram to help your chain of reasoning and improve it. So if you have enjoyed today's video and you found it useful, do like and subscribe, hit the notification bell as well. And you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at, at TJA Economics, where I'll be tweeting and putting up photos about economics all the time. Thank you, and I'll see you again soon.